either guy here coming to you live and direct with another video and in this video this is just a short video um you know following up my rv situation i don't have my i'm not in my rv right now i'm in my mom's crib and i just got back from martial law i mean walmart and i just um picked up some supplies because i'm um my homie trey i from instagram he just you know um motivated me to get to start my own indoor garden so this is a shelving that i'm going to be using for my indoor garden and the great thing about this i think is that these shells i think i can um like when I get ready to put it in my RV, I could just cut these two little rolls off and put, you know, have a three tier shelf in my RV where it can fit. But I don't even know the um the five tier pop the whole five tier probably can fit in my RV. I just don't know it. I'm not about to test that out yet. I'm about to uh, set this up in the um crib. I already got an idea how I'm gonna do it. Okay, so I'm gonna have I'm gonna have to rig my um grow lights that I bought under here under here because i only got two pairs for right now right and i have a mini fridge i th I was thinking about putting my mini fridge either up here or up here it say the thing heavy duty so i assume that it my um it, it should be able to handle the weight of my um mini fridge and here go my mini fridge right here this thing get cold too i'm telling you like Block ice, like it'll make them on ice. So you can see the ice right there. So that's the um, mini fridge that I can you see. I'm gonna put it in the corner, and then I'm gonna see if it can fit on top of here. On top of here, since it's so called heavy duty, but we'll see. Other than that, these are gonna be for my growing seed, uh, starting my seeds inside. So what I plan on doing is possibly getting some sheets that can cover the um, exterior of the shelving so it can, you know, con uh, contain the light so the plants can, you know, grow more efficiently. And then, you know, I bought some seeds. I bought some more seeds because, see, I already, have, I already have some seeds in the whip, in the RV, but I bought some more. And they, they was only one for the four. Granted, they may be GMO or whatever, but I don't even care about that no more. As long as I have seeds, that's all that matters. You just, you just, you just get seeds, whether they GMO or not. You should definitely target um, organic, but you know how the system is. So with that being said, this is going to be my first plant that I'm going to try to grow inside. <clears throat> so, yeah, hopefully I'll have some luck with that. And then how I'm going to rig. See, this is one of my grow lights. One of my grow lights. See if I can take it out. And then I'm going to rig it up to this shelving. And then I got the baking soda. I got that for, like, um, to make, like, for cleaning my teeth and stuff like that. And possibly use it for protecting plants, I think. Or I think you can um use it to feed your plants, too. So I don't I don't know how to do more research on that, but I just got it just because just to stock up on it. So I got the baking soda right there, and then I got the zip ties to to um you see rig these to the to the bottom of the shelf. You see what I'm saying? So yeah, and what else I got? Um, I'm supposed to have them. Oh, I think I left them in the car. Um, I had bought some little um little cartons that they come in i mean not that they that the um, plants come in but they regular carts that you put your transport your plants into so i got those to start out with so once i put my plants in the uh, in the cups then i could put them in the ground so first i'm gonna start out experimenting with the indoor version once i get the indoor figured out then i'm gonna trans um trans transportate uh, transport <laughs> I said transportate transport my plants to the um to the ground outside but um like I said we should definitely invest in growing our plants inside some indoor plants um you know just to start out you, you see what I'm saying so 
because you know the way the weather going you might not be able to um have your plants outside you know due to heavy rain or you know uh, high winds or, or snow or whatever so yeah this is just a short video just keeping y'all informed on what i'm doing get you some seeds i just caught these at walmart 144 piece and i made it a priority to get the, to start out with these red cherry tomatoes i heard they're organic these are the most organic tomatoes out there any other tomato is gmo the, the bigger ones like these right here but see you know i still eat them though you know it's better to have some food than no food so that's what i'm doing i know this gmo right here they're talking about some jumbo cantaloupe I think cantaloupe supposed to be kind of small, but you know, they come in different sizes. So I just bought one of everything. Some of them I bought more. Like for me personally, I like a lot of melons, like watermelon and stuff. So I bought watermelon because for one, it can fill you up. You know, one whole watermelon can feed you for like a week or so. I just gotta research and figure out how I will be containing my food or preserving my food like things such as a watermelon, you know, with minimal refrigeration and stuff like that, you know. Because I don't want to depend on gas either because, like, my RV, right, my RV requires gas to run that generator. And that generator, I think, takes, uh, I don't know if, I don't even know if that it takes um, propane. And even then, I got to buy propane tanks. And even that's dangerous. Then I got to go to the store to even get those. So... I'm trying to figure out ways to get around that, you know, without gas. I do have a solar generator that's that's that can be powered by the sun, you know, with a, with my um foldable solar panel. So, you know, that's what I'll be using. Oh yeah, matter of fact, my um solar panel will be able to power this. My solar panel will be able. I mean, I mean, my um solar generator will be able to power this. The solar panels power the solar generator. The solar generator powers these lights. These lights make my um my um seeds grow on here. And you know, boom, you got food. So that's what I'm experimenting with right now. I was just keeping y'all informed. And as for these right here, uh I just got them just because since I have spare um funds to to um to um, invest in, I just used it to invest in this, these little plant spikes. I don't know. I think you have to wait to like they in a um, like they like in a six month stage or so. So I definitely won't need these anytime soon. So yeah. With that being said, either God signing out. Peace.